So there's been a viral effect going around, AKA the one on screen right now. And that's just glowing text. Now, I personally don't wanna spend, I think 60 bucks a month on Sapphire plugins um, to do this effect the proper way. But I did find a very cheap and free way to do it in Adobe Premiere Pro that looks pretty dang similar. Now, of course, it's not gonna be the greatest, but it looks pretty good as you guys have seen. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in today's tutorial. But real quick, I wanna let you guys know that my name is Chris Wissed and I run the Takeover Shop where it's editing assets and presets for content creators just like you. And if you guys wanna go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram, connect with me i'll connect with you it'll be a good time you know i'm really just trying to collect as many content creators as i can because you know you guys are just the homies you know simple as that <laughs> But anyways, let's go ahead and get straight into Adobe Premiere Pro. First things first, let's go ahead and just go into like a random part of the video. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and make a couple lines of text. So um, the, I'm just gonna do like a couple actually. Let's go to properties. I'm gonna center this all. That, I'm gonna change the font to Akira. Cause you know, Akira is my favorite font, believe it or not. I use it in probably every single video. And then we're also gonna center this, center it again, sorry. Then we're gonna move this up. I'm just going to say like the and then M1, something like that. And then I'm just going to make this bigger so that it fits line size, I guess, so like that. Move this down. I don't know about you guys, but the new update of Adobe Premiere Pro is kind of messing with me a little bit. I don't really understand the reason for the properties tab, but I guess it's here to stay. So it is what it is. Anyways, okay, so now that you have your text kind of exactly where you guys want it to be, um, go ahead and if there's not a track above the text, Go ahead and add track. So there's a blank slate and then blank area. So we're going to add glow to the word the. So first things first, once you have your text placed, have all your animations on it. I'm actually going to throw an animation on it just to uh, show you guys what it's looking like. I'm just going to go ahead and do a uh, slide in up effect. This is my uh, minimal creator pack. It's named Tom Noski, but it's actually not that anymore. Minimal creator. So go ahead, do that. And it'll like kind of slide in just like so. Banger looks good. Now duplicate the track or the text that you want to add the glow to. And then you wanna go over here to Gaussian Blur. Now go ahead, drag and drop it. And what you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is just crank up the uh, the blur on the text. So as you can see, you guys are starting to get that glow effect. If you want it really big, go ahead and make it really, really big. If you want to kind of make it like tighter, just like that, um, that's perfect. But it, the glow is a little too intense, right? So the way you guys actually fix that is you guys can go to the video motion, go to opacity, and then just turn the opacity down to play with the uh, sort of size or like brightness of the glow. And there you go. That's literally what all you guys do to add the glow. Now, personally, let's say you wanna add it to the next one. You guys could follow the same exact process or you guys can save the preset like I have inside of the takeover preset pack where I literally just duplicate it and then go over here to glowing text, drag and drop it just like so. And then there you go, you have the glowing text. So literally just simple drag and drop and you guys have the effect. But how do you guys save the preset? Let me show you. So you guys wanna go back to the first collection you guys made with the uh, Gaussian Blur. You guys wanna hold Alt or Command on your keyboard so that way it selects that. And then also select this opacity right here so that way both of these are selected. Right click, save preset, and then just go ahead and then just name it like uh, text glow and then do like add to dupe look it just like that so that way you know just add it to the duplicate and then you go ahead hit okay it'll save inside of your effects all you gotta do is type it in and you guys got the glow now this works in all sorts of different colors icons pngs photos whatever it really is you can do it's actually a pretty easy effect anyways guys if you guys like this video please leave a like comment subscribe down below and also if you guys want to go ahead and you know learn how to edit a full length reel kind of like how I edit my own reels. Go ahead, check out this video here on screen. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.